So here we have the telescope tracking the sun. This is the control panel for the manual control. The digital logic in the controller is all that's needed to control the rates. You can hear that buzzing. That's uh, one of the axes. You can see the sun move, slowly moving to the right. The clicking you hear is that the drift rate adjusting for the sun's motion through the sky and these are the slew rates that are selectable from the controller. You see the sun moving back, moves in both axes, and I've been adjusting the tracking manually to keep the sun in the center there. Now I'll move over to the scope side. It's driven by the motor. This is the controller electronics, hand belt, two axes, takes in the input from the control panel, and here is one axis. You can see I've rebuilt this drive to give it more leverage against there. I'm also going to treat that uh, edge of the disc in this axis with some, uh, uh, rough it up with sandpaper so it gets a better connect to that pinch roller. But you can see that it's slowly turning to compensate for the rotation of the earth. And the second axis is over here, both being driven by the controller and you can see the little tail on the end the piece black piece of tape moving around and that's the compensation rate for this particular position and then the scope is balanced with those 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 weights balance the uh, carriage independently of the tube and these weights down here are balancing out the tube so then the unit tracks the sun by the X and Y rates being put into the camera. And there is the entire unit operating. So there you have out, out, eye to the sky drift imager.